All right, this is weekend mentoring for uh, October 9th. Um, yeah, James says shots. Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna lay off shots for this one. Um, welcome to uh, weekend mentoring. Out of that um, no, I'm not getting hammered for this one, um, but uh, this is the wrong webinar for that. But yeah, we have some good charts uh, for this one. Um, you know, there's been a lot of variety. I tried to get a good variety of like longs, shorts, and just kind of like comments on the market. Steven, if you want to join, just raise your hand. Um, I did my best to try and like get a variety. Um, and uh, yeah, that's what I'm, uh, you know, been kind of working on. I just want to see if Steve, does Steven want to come in or, okay, I see Steven, yeah. We'll just let Steven in before. Skrillex under moderator. That's funny as shit. Yeah, we'll just wait for Steven and then we'll we'll get started. Um, my co-host. But yeah, I, I tried to include, uh, you know, kind of a variety. What's up, Steven? Steven's on. Hey, yes. Where, here. Steven, where are you right now, bro? I'm in Riga, Latvia. Oh, you're in Latvia? Yeah, and I'm going to Ukraine uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday. Oh, that's cool. That's crazy. Um, yeah. So I think the way that we'll do it is we'll do it me, Austin, Vic, and then Steven. And because last time it was really well organized, just going one by one, everyone saying their yeah. point, everyone going through. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, to get started, this is the CEI chart for that day, just for kind of uh, full context. Um, obviously, we don't really have a lot of pre-market range. We end up breaking out of that, going higher, uh, death candle lower, and then that's about it. Um, and this is the way this member traded it. And I guess there's a couple things that I kind of want to talk about. And this one, I wanted to kind of talk uh, more so about just kind of using uh, your lines instead of just blindly chasing. Um, you know, um, I, I think the weekend mentoring link is the same every single time, just so you know. It, there's, it, the link will never change. It's the same meeting every single time. Um, and so just how I uh, kind of wanted, what I kind of wanted to talk about is that when you're making a plan and the market's opening up, like what lines are you going to be kind of looking at for a short seller, you know, uh, probably three bucks, um, you know, maybe like 290 area, right? Those are the lines that you're kind of looking at in the morning as a, a short seller. So when I see a chart like this and you kind of get stopped out, it's more so just trading on the fly. Like we talk about every single weekend mentoring that you don't want to do, right? You should have a plan in place. Like maybe like, you know, like you just want to have a good, a good plan in place. And that's kind of what I wanted to, what I kind of wanted to talk about is that you can preset into 90, you can preset into three and then, um, you know, maybe a stop over three. And that's something that you could do, but instead you're kind of getting these chase entries lower, just kind of seeing some red tape and you're like, Oh, I'm going to chase this. Cause I think it's going to go lower. And then you end up getting squeezed on. Right. So that's something that you can kind of work on. I don't know, Austin, if you want to kind of talk about this one. Obviously, after kind of death candle, good trades, some kind of scalp stop out. Um, you know, I don't know if this was a long here. Maybe, maybe it was a long. I'm not really sure. Or maybe he just uh, held short after hours. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's what I would kind of want to talk about. Yeah, it's just very clear that this person um, didn't, uh, wasn't <laughs> trying to trade off of a line, was trying to, you know, was trying to get that confirmation of outcome to, you know, oh, once three um, is resistance, like that, that, that I'm willing to get short. Um, as opposed to, I mean, like thinking that three is going to hold because it's a line and having an order there, like a stop out, I think, I think the stop is okay. But yeah, the entries are just not very good. There's kind of two types of trades that you can do. And number one is like, you get that initial spike out of the open, you have your lines, you preset into the orders, you cover into the dip, and that's your kind of trade idea, right? And so I think, you know, it's a big kind of mix up when people are kind of mixing up the death candle at the open and getting trapped, like, you know, similar to CEI, right? You see a small pullback at the open, you're like, this is the death candle, this is the death candle, you get emotional, you short into it, and then all of a sudden you're squeezed out where you should have been shorting into normally, right? So I think there's kind of like, there's kind of different scenarios, like a, a good death candle you're going to know, and also a good um, death candle or good pullback or good kind of short into weakness is usually going to come around kind of this time and it's usually going to look something like this. So I think it's really kind of important to, to kind of say to yourself, like, you shouldn't really be looking for a death candle at the open. You know, you should be looking for a death candle on a runner, 
that's like doing some good volume that is kind of up extended over view app, that's a good time to kind of look for a death candle. But right at the open, you know, I'm you're never going to hear Alex say blindly shorting into weakness. You know, you're never going to hear him say that. So that's why on that CEI trade, I was like, bro, you could just preset three, have a stop over three. And maybe he, that guy could have made, uh, you know, 10 cents, right? If he said, oh, 390 is covering, right? So I think in that kind of scenario, like a trade like this is good, but you have to be willing to kind of look for it and be really kind of patient for it. And I think it's just a good habit to just not be blindly chasing weakness all the time. As for this one, I think it's a good trade, you know, um, he just kind of waited for the demand to kind of peter out and for the, the, the stock to kind of unwind rather than getting in a, a fight with it early and becoming emotional and then having that trade set up later. So, I mean, he said $3 is major support, kind of broke through it, was expecting some panic under three. I mean, I like it. I think it's a good trade idea. Um, you know, it, it's a safer trade idea with a stop kind of over VWAP. Um, and yeah, some of that's good. Yeah, I, I don't love this one um uh for a couple of reasons uh like uh, i don't mind the execution it, like i don't know what the what the tape looked like i don't know if it like looked like it was hammering i don't really trust the tape in the first three minutes anyway so you know given that i have a bias on not trusting the tape and taking a a, a tape kind of trade yeah. um at the open um i i kind of can't like use that to counterbalance why i don't like it um and why i don't like it is I mean, there's, there's a daily level and pre-market support at 280. And you can see higher lows building pre-market trying to hold three. And, and if you just draw a line here from, you know, where, where the top of the range is 320 to the bottom of the range is 280, you're kind of shorting dead mid range and 280 can easily hold. And if it does, you don't have a lot of room to be right. Right. This is kind of, uh, this is like, well, you know, like if you were playing poker, you know, and you have bottom, second to bottom pair and you're making a bet, who's going to call you that you're going to win, right? Yeah. You're making a bet and the value is so thin that, I mean, you're, you know, there's just, there's not a lot of room to make money, you know, like if 280 holds and you short at three, you have 20 cents max to make money max. And that's assuming that you get the bottom. And what if it holds 290 that, and you have a three average, and what if it just traps you at three? So I just, I don't see a whole lot of room to make money. So that's why I don't love it. Um, again, I don't know what the tape looked like, but again, I have kind of a discount, a discount on the tape yeah. at level at the open anyway. So I don't love it. Um, uh, it worked out, but I mean, I think the market kind of helps you here because there's a lot of times where this just holds and just, you know, if we're in a market that wants to see high a day, <laughs> you're going to be short from three when it sees 320. 